The Kirksville Community Center in Madison County was left in shambles after vandals broke into the building in April. Center board members say they need all the help they can get to get the space up and running again. LAX 18 Sophia Millar shows us what they're dealing with and what you can do to help. The damage done to this building was quite extensive. We're barely on the first floor here. There used to be a water fountain right here where this wall is. Board members say that the people who came through completely ripped it out of the wall. They found it on the floor. This is again just the first floor. Upstairs is even worse. It was chaos. Fully smashed urinals, torn down ceilings, and broken doors just to list some of the damage. It's hard to understand the scope of it. Uh Kirksville Community Center Board President Judd Patterson says not a single room was left untouched by the people who vandalized the building in April. It's hard to believe that anybody would attack the community center, which has done nothing but serve this community. So it was a shock that that would happen here in Kirksville. The damage so bad, doors have been closed for six months, even though they have made progress cleaning up spaces like the gym. And for the fact that it, it looks like it does now is Nothing short of miraculous, and it's just elbow grease. The Kirksville Community Center is the site of events like the fall festival, Christmas gathering, craft fairs, and more. Patterson says they need volunteers to reopen. Grab a mop, grab a broom, grab a dustpan, help us clean up. They also need donations. It's an old building dating back to 1912. It already needed hefty repairs. When you have uh, unforeseen and unnecessary expense like this vandalism, it's really puts you on the edge. You know, can, is this something that you can survive and still provide this space to the community? But Patterson says they don't have any plans to throw in the towel. He believes the community will come together to rescue the center that has always been open to people in need of a safe space. In Madison County, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News.